Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and I'm going to try to take this video in one take. It's late in the day, been real busy out here at the retreat location, we got a lot done. Had the excavator here all day long, he put some posts in for me, those are 6x6 six six posts, 16 feet long, big chunk of them in the ground, we're going to build a shed, outbuilding, something with that, I'm not quite sure right now, but if you follow other videos you'll see we took a boatload of dirt out of the back, that all got trucked up the road to my neighbor's house. I am pleased to report that the electrical inspector came today and the off-grid solar power system has passed the electrical inspection. So now I can really say this project is done. What I'll do now is I'll get on the four-wheeler, we'll run up and take a look at the off-grid electrical system, and then show you the new trails or roads I had bulldozed in today in the upper part of the retreat property to get around on the ATV and help out a little bit during the hunting season. So let me fire up the ATV and give you a better vantage point from up above. Be right back. All right, we're up here on the second level. Here's the system. Over here on the door is the final inspection sticker for the electrical inspector today with the receipt and all the technical information for the different components in this box copy of my FCC ham radio license since I have a station up here. We cleaned everything up this morning before the inspector came and put some tie wrap blocks in to dress the place up and keep things neat. We actually labeled the fuses before the inspector got up here today. I'm not sure if I showed you the flashing on the last trip but we labeled the on off and my neighbor was kind enough to go get a ton of crushed bluestone to put around the pad up here which makes things very easy to walk around. And now I'll show you some of the excavating work that took place today. Road is much wider now coming up here. And looking down here, there's a whole lot of dirt missing. And there's the post for the new building. So we're going to put something there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put there right now. But the posts are in. Because the posts are covered under the same permit as the solar power system. So I needed to get it done. We blew this trail open which heads up towards the top of the property. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the four-wheeler up there and show you what we did. But basically, we ran the dozer up across the whole top side of the lot, came back down the other side here, and it drops down to where my tree stand is over there on the other side of that dump truck. So we got a nice trail or path now for the four-wheeler that loops the whole midsection of the lot here. So we'll get up to the halfway point and show you how that looks. Be right back. There's a shot looking down that trail that got put in with the dozer today. Looking down at the retreat location. And we're going to run up the original trail up here, make a left, and loop back down to the other side of the property. And what I'll try doing, I don't know if this is going to work out well, I'll try holding the camera in one hand and go real slow so you can actually see how this trail works. switching hands here. Now 15 years ago this was actually opened. This is how my water line runs down from the top of the property. Normally I use this switch back here to get up to the rainwater collector. And over the years I let this original road or trail close up. But since we had the dozer up here I asked the guy if he could run it through here like an ATV and open it back up for me. So we're going to head down there and show you where it pops out on the other side of the property. Let's get started back up again. I'm going real slow because I'm doing this with one hand and don't want to roll the four-wheeler or wreck and hurt myself. Those dozers can do a lot of damage when you put them to work for sure.
little slow. Take a break here. Put the ATV off. Here's a tree stand. Now we're on the other side of the lot. And later on in the summer, we're going to take this brush out. But here's where I got my deer last year. There's an old orchard road there that goes up to the neighbor's property. And I'm right about here straddling the property line. It might be a little further to my right. And then that drops down to the other side of the retreat location. So we'll get the ATV started back up and go back to where we started this ride. Be right back. All right, now we're on the bottom side, and where you see that dump truck in there, that's actually the target shooting pit that's been, I would say, tripled in size, and the angle changed a little bit. Now we're looking over there towards the other side of the retreat. There's the post, the off-grid solar power system. So now I got a way to move around on the top of the property as well as the bottom side. And it's been a real productive day. Time to clean up, pack everything up, load everything in the truck, head back to the homestead back in Virginia. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a, I guess, retreat update video from the mountains of West Virginia. Kind of celebrating passing the electrical inspection on the off-grid solar and making some progress on the, the new building we're going to set up over there. Thanks for watching, guys. And I forgot one thing. We also got the poles in to extend the roof on the shed to give me a spot to park this four-wheeler when I come up here on the weekends. So I'm not tripping over when I'm working in the shed there. It's been a good trip out here. And probably going to be a couple weeks before I get permission to come out again. Thanks for watching, guys.